Hello! Welcome to episode 14 of um, Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. I've got everything turned down. Why is that weird noise in my head? Oh, it's me. Let's try that. Um, oh, and it's so sunny in here that uh, my green screen showing. Uh, welcome. So what we're we doing today? We are playing some centipede, but I feel it's going to be a little bit like last week's asteroids. We're going to have a random assortment of games to finish with if you behave yourselves. Yes. Uh, so without any further ado, then I need to uh, get down into the little screen there and um, we'll crack on. Tradition dictates that um, we'll, we'll be playing uh, the Atari 2600 version first. Now, five versions of um, Centipede to show you. And I have two, three, possibly. We might get bod, but um, three versions of Millipede, which was the sequel to Centipede. Nutty Cluster in chat, if you... I'm hoping that you're going to hear sound of the game in a minute, and not just me. Um, it's echoey at my end. I don't. I don't think it's a you thing. So, okay, the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Uh, so, Centipede. I'm sure you're all up to date and you know what Centipede is. But just in case you don't, you're you're gardening, and you want to protect all your plants from guess what. A centipede. Um, so, not just a centipede, other other creatures of the garden too. So, let's. Oh, there we go. So we're at the bottom. And every time you shoot, it. Um, You can move up and down, which is handy, but also rather confusing. Oh. And when you get rid of the centipede, a new one comes out. My gardener's work is never done. Yes, that spider has got quite an annoying noise. I've got no idea what that is. Uh, so yeah, that's the chat room. In front of uh, the chat room saying it is quite quick. Um, so there you go. But it seems... Uh, I'm just going to sound stupid saying it. It seems a little high def for a 2600. Um, so let's have another crack. Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's... Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to play another game. Yeah, let's play another game. Oh, 
So as you've seen, it splits into different um, targets, and then when it hits one of the uh, one of the blue things, it goes down another level, which means it can get to the bottom quite quickly. Ah. Sake. Think any of them. Uh, greetings in the chat room. Springs from Salt. Welcome. We're not playing another one. We're moving on so we can get to the random games later. Uh, we're moving to the Atari 7800. Um, I'm rattling through these because it's the same game, pretty much. It's, it plays the same way. Mark me. Bast. That's a fast spider. didn't line it up properly did I do you know what I'm actually I'm, I'm impressed it actually picked it up it doesn't normally do that but it's a good job you're there to let me know keep me in check wow all the, all the different versions you can play A cleverer player than me would know how to um, make it so that there was a like a death corridor and you could just shoot and coming down. Oh, my God. 
Um, I should probably take this opportunity to thank our newest follower, um, Mr. Ingleby. Um, but I'm going to pronounce it Jingleby. Jingleby 80. So, uh, thank you, Jeff, for the follow. I think you can go a bit higher with this game than you could on the other one. Uh, and in the arcade, you played it with a rollerball, like Missile Command. Ooh. Can't get me iron today. That was dead then, I thought that was it. Yeah. So now I've got that kill corridor that I was talking about. That was a 7800. Um, so let's move. Where are we moving next? Let's have a look. Um, let's have a look at the Collector Vision version, shall we? You'd be surprised to find out it's uh, somewhat similar. Well, I'm liking the OpenMU just grabs it. I didn't hijack that screen, it just did it. I have to change the size, like, but get in there. Right, okay. Ooh, so, number one. Oh, different button for fire. And a horrible looking spider. Great. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's moving quicker. Now I don't actually remember owning Centipede on the um, on the Clicker Vision. faster when they get to uh... oh. Doesn't seem fair. You're not quick enough. Don't seem to want to shoot them, does it? Come on, we'll play at least two of each one. Oh, didn't see it quick enough. I'm playing shit this this game out than I did last time. I thought I could get under it and get over it instead. Oh, I think the spiders killed me more than any of the others. Well, I said two of each, and that was the tooth. Uh, right. So let's let's have a look at Intellivision. We don't do it in television very often, do we? Mainly because I didn't know how to control it with my pad, but maybe. Yeah, look how big it is. It's huge. There we go. I think it started playing automatically, so... Oh! Oh! Right, you have to hold two buttons down for fire! Not as pretty as the uh, Clacker Vision one.
I think we're probably only going to be playing one game with this one. Hostels, uh. Lots of mushrooms. Lots of mushrooms. That needs to get right down to the bottom quicker. <laughs> okay. It's not very pretty, but that's the Intellivision for you. With its weird press two buttons to fire option. Um, it did have collector vision style joysticks controllers, so maybe it's something to do with that. Um, and our last official centipede game is uh, is on the Game Boy, so another one that might not look super great, but you know, well, it didn't change it then. Gonna have to hijack the screen myself. I don't know. Nope, can't find it. Here we go. Okay, this is the arcade pack for the Game Boy, Arcade Classics, and it's got them both on. So this might be our um, this is be our transitional game where we transition into Millipede. slow I mean, it just feels slow just trying to move around
Nice, that little kill corridor or so, you know. This one here. See my kill corridor's blocked now. Wasn't paying attention. So we're only going to play one of them because it took ages. And we'll take our first look this evening.
uh, at Millipede. Not awfully different. Okay. Now you've got weed killer. Uh, I suppose not weed killer. Insecticide. Um, and things that crawl along the bottom for some annoying reason. Right, so we've got a lot more things going on there. To distract you from killing the uh, millipede. I mean, I suppose the upside is that this um, millipede isn't moving very fast. Oh, but those bees are. Okay, that felt very galaxian-y. Didn't get up high enough. Yeah, they do um, steal your concentration away from the main point, killing the millipede. Oh, when it moved into the bee. Definite feeling of creepage. Oh, oh. Oh, was that my last life? Let's get that DDT.
me not likey. Okay, so that's our introduction to Millipede. Um, that's the Game Boy. So we'll travel back in time to the 2600 and see how the 2600, or the Atari VCS, um, handled a more complicated game. That, that millipede looks like it moves a lot faster. Let's see what happens. Select start, let's go. Just let me start. Oh, they've got those annoying things in this version as well. Scum. Get out of my way. Well, deserve that. Um, okay. So, I'm conscious that with these same game, different system ones, we play the same ones. And when you know what the game is, you've seen enough. So we're only going to play one of that. And we're going to finish our centipede, our creepy crawly section with the Nintendo. The NES, to be exact. We're glad to know this is our last creepy crawly. Let me get it the right size for you. You'd think they'd fit this telly properly, wouldn't you? There we go. Um. White square. So, um, if the chat room have got any any requests of uh, anything they'd like to see next, we're going to be doing some random picks, probably PlayStation games. Um, but I have been looking at some Saturn games as well, so we're going to have a, a quick look at some Saturn games. But if you've got anything um, that we've not covered in the past, then... Sooner than, uh, sooner than I thought. Um, don't particularly like this version. It seems. I know it's only the NES, but it's not fair for me to uh, to judge it. But when you've got the Clackervision version, granted it was Centipede, but yeah, I felt it should be more, and it wasn't. 
Um, okay, so while the... Uh, that's it. That's the end of the centipede section. We're moving on. We're moving on to... Um, well, let's have a look, shall we? So last week, we played some... PlayStation games um, that I'd never come across. Uh, and some Japanese ones, which I certainly had never come across. So... During the week, I've been putting, um, I've been putting more on. So we could have a run through them. The chat doesn't seem particularly eager with any requests. So, um, so let's just have a look, shall we? See what we've got. Oh, you see, some of these I want to save till um, they've got specific. Uh, specific some word I can't remember uh, right so it stopped automatically hijacking it now um, yes we can certainly have a look at uh, I think we can have a look at Echo Dolphin um, I do seem to feel that it wasn't super exciting. It was on the Mega Drive. Or used to be. Um, but I've just started this one. We'll get to Echo Dolphin in a, a minute, I hope. Okay. So, PlayStation. We're going to have a look at... Nichibutsu Arcade Classics. <laughs> but I don't know how long for. Let's menu, shall we? Oh, okay. I've heard of Mooncrester. Crazy Climber. Can't say I've heard of Tom Strikes Back. Tom's... Oh, Tom's Strike Back. Okay. And Frisky Tom. So I guess Frisky Tom was first. Crazy Climber. Mooncrester. Alright, let's have a quick blast on Mooncrester. And then we'll... Um... That's right. No, you close to... Itchy but Sue. I knew a girl called that once. Now you may have seen us play um, Mooncrester on a an earlier game. Now we shit at it then as well. I actually thought it was a different game to be honest with you. Oh, it's so slow feeling. You bastard, I couldn't get out of the way. Won't be doing any docking now, will I? might return to Nichibutsu later um, but let's fulfill the request in in the chat room I haven't clicked on your link um, so we've got 
Echo the Dolphin. We've got Echo the Tides of Time. And we've got Echo Junior. No, Echo Beach. That's far away in time. Let's see what happens when we click this. Can't see it. There it is. It's been a long time. I don't really remember how to play this. I think it's just dolphin. Can't go any further that way. How deep can I go? That deep. All right. Anyone got any ideas what I'm supposed to be doing? I have a fast tail option. So that's okay. Did it all say something different? Okay, have we got some shelled ones? Do we have crabs or something? Oh, are these shelled ones? No. Back here, little bugger. Right, so aim right, collect shells. From where? There doesn't seem to be anything to collect. Oh, oh what was that? Can I get in there? Nope. It feels like I should be able to though, doesn't it? So I can get air from these ones, can I? Do I? I should be able to get into there. Is that a shelter collect? No. Oh, 
I was blasting it with an echo. So I've got a map that I need to get somewhere. I uh, can't imagine why I didn't play this very often. There's probably somebody watching this now on YouTube going, oh, no, no, go that way, do this. I mean, there's got to be a way out of this section. Yes, yes. Where's the dolphin that says, ah, to get out of it? Go this way. Uh, chat room said at least I don't have to hear it. Hear what? You don't think I'm not listening, do you? Do I need to talk to all these friggin' dolphins? Oh, I see. So, best backseat driving, is she? I think I'm getting ready to be <laughs> done with this. I just charged those fish. Didn't seem to do anything. Well, there we go. That was um, Echo the Dolphin, requested by the chat room. Um, if you're a Echo the Dolphin player and you wanted to put a comment under the video, then that's fine. That's fine. Or email me. Tell me what I was doing wrong. Retro at snugradio.co.uk uh, Okay, let's go back to PlayStation for a bit. And 
see I'm looking at trying to look at things that I've actually never heard of there are some of these things that I've just downloaded because like what what the actual F what's this like like Spice World which we'll get to at some point I guess when we do movie tie-ins again that's when we'll do uh, <laughs> that's when we'll do Spice World let's see what Sunsoft classics are and hijack it for you um so I, I see Tamara saying, I want you to play my dolphin game. And I say to that, I have done. It's a no from me. You're not going through to the next round. Yes, yes, chat room, Spice World. Colour of the world, spice up your life. Here we go. Sunsoft Classics. You know when it's got Japan in the background, uh, in brackets, next to the file name. You just know you don't know what you're going to get. That's right, Naughty Cluster, you'll always be Baby Spice to me. Ooh! Let's just go with the one it was on, shall we? Super... Arabian? Oh, is this it's the only game on it? I am confused. Although that's the point, isn't it? See, it's weird, isn't it? The name's in Japanese, but all the rest of it's just in English. The music's in Japanese. It's quite difficult, this. I've got no idea what I'm supposed to be doing other than rice flailing these guys and avoiding throwing stars. Uh, what was the other game on this? Oh, you can't get back. Oh, okay. I'm curious now. So we're gonna have a we're gonna have a quick look at um, a game called Skull Monkeys. Um, which you know, I, I, some of you may know what it is, but I don't. There's a lot of games I didn't play on the uh, PlayStation.
and as a gamer, I generally prefer games that I can just, as you've noticed, to, uh, games I can casually play rather than long involved multi hour epics that we have to sit in through. However, we do have ideas for that, and uh, maybe soon we might be doing um, a, a series. Bad man fell from the sky. I mean, I kind of want to press start and just get on with it, but... What the F? Monkey will never get away with this. My people are far too smart to accept him as leader. First, we make an evil engine. We make an evil engine. Yes, Nutty Cluster, you're right. It does look like Trapdoor. I mean, just watching this is like, what on earth is this game going to be? What? So much plasticine. Oh, those drugs are took must have been really strong. No, I'm gonna press start because I just don't know when this is gonna end. Obviously, it's uh, PlayStation in it, so it's one of the earliest disc games, and they're like, "Wee, we've got so much space to put these games on." Okay, collect. To hundred. Oh, so it's it's a platformer then, is it? Seem to have a punch. Oh, I have a gun though. Well, I can't go up, so let's go down.
No, my gun's gone. Oh, shouldn't have done that, should I? Uh oh. Oh. Piss off. Oh, for fuck's sake. Any sort of fighting ability. <coughs> now we want to know what happens when you sit still for a bit. Um, so my shoulder buttons make a buzzing noise, but they don't do anything. Obviously the analogs don't work. I don't know. Down. Well, you only get one hit as well. Oh, okay. Right. So, you can jump on him, can you? Nice. Okay. Well, we're always learning, aren't we? We're always learning. sticks uh, right okay there you go skull monkeys it's uh, certainly a product of its time isn't it ah oh, dear right Obviously, all these games are listed in the show notes. Um, and if you ever want to see more of them, then you can always uh, drop me a line or put a comment underneath. Um, actually, let's move to the Saturn, because I've only been installing Saturn games today. And, uh, yeah, some of these I don't... Don't know what what on earth we might get. I mean, poo li ru la. Oh, it's interesting. We might not be able to run Stream Deck. Sorry, Stream Labs, and and run Saturn games. Or not at least until maybe till I when I move across to my new Mac. Then maybe then. But let's see what happens. And I did have a Saturn for a while. Um, 
But my box of Saturn stuff, I don't seem to have a lot of games for it, so I don't know. Xing. I've certainly never played any of these. Pooly Rula. Very Japanesey. Uh, just gonna press start. Gonna ignore that bit of that. All right. It's a bit jittery. Oh, it's gonna involve a lot of reading, is it? Okay. Yeah, look, it uses too much, uh, too much wrong. Oh, too jumpy for me. We're not doing any Sega Saturn because uh, it's poop. It's not working. And we're gonna play. Oh, we're not gonna play. We're gonna look at Bogey Dead Six. Whatever that is. Should have realised that bogey would be aircraft related. So we're going to take the highway to the danger zone. So, not the sort of game that I would be uh, normally playing. So, this was this was PlayStation 1, so no analog sticks. But I feel as Top Gun Mavericks just come out, we should at least have a quick go. Oh, there, Leslie. Oh. idea where I am at all. Oh, look, ground. Well, I'm sure, uh, as you're aware, I am not a Tom Cruise. Nose is down, I'm pointing to the ground. What do you want from me? Here we go, here we go. Oh no! Look at that. R2, see what you can do with it. Oh dear. 
Um, oh, I would like to uh, point out that last week, uh, if you're watching on Twitch, no problem whatsoever. Everything fine. Just watch the highlights for last week. Super fine. If you watch the show on YouTube, um, the theme tune for War of the Worlds is uh, no go on YouTube. No go. Had to be cut out. Not that that annoys the shit out of me or anything, but just so you know, for for your videos, if you ever do a video, no eve of war. No eve of war. In fact, I didn't end up changing it. Um, but there is an option to put your own, to change the song. And I thought, do you know what? Do you know what? F you, I'm gonna change the song, I'm gonna change it. So I made I made this. Didn't put it in, in the end. Kinda wish I had. My laziness won one over. So um okay, where else? Where are we gonna go now? Okay, let's um oh I tell you what we'll do. Here's one for Nutty Cluster. Let's get it started and we'll tell you all about it. And I've got no idea how this can be a game at all. So. Unless it's just one of those PlayStation uh, games that's... That's not. It's just like an informational disc or something. But we'll find out. Because this is called Roswell Conspiracies. Aliens, Myths and Legends. I guess X-Files was about out at a similar time as this. Mmm, bacon. Yep, so where the balloon? Wow, so much. Okay, so it's a comic key. I wonder if this is based on an actual comic. Okay. Beginning. There have been unconfirmed reports of strange events in a derelict dis industrial area of London. Oh, okay. Uh, travel to an old Victorian dye factory. All right. Let's go. I like that it's got a loading bar, like it's trying to load a disc. Ain't no disc. You've not seen it played yet, Nutty Cluster. You might not want to play it once you've seen it. It might be right, pants. It's very Londony. This there's no trash on the streets or Cockney monkeys. Okay, so what have we got? 
punch you in the face. That's it, is it? Is it one of these games where there's only one way to go? Tell you, it controls better than Resident Evil did. Okay. So I don't need to... What's that? Is that... It looks like a gun, but... It doesn't shoot. It does now. Right, so I missed something then, didn't I? Like a goober. Let's go. Oh, what's that? Is that just bad polygon in? Yep. Okay, well... Uh, chat room happy to for you to backseat drive if you uh, see I don't seem to have a jump uh, oh, I could, I've got a little dance do 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 um, on my shoulder buttons does this oh binoculars what about this one Nothing. So how do I jump? How do I jump? Jump, 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 jump. Not that way. That button doesn't do anything. It's that one. All right. Nothing weird here, Governor. Press select. The lock looks seized up. If I can only cut through it somehow. Oh, okay. How do I get out of this? The lock looks seized up. Yeah, yeah, no. I can only cut through it somehow. All right. Oh, I can't do anything now. The lock looks seized up. <sighs> I can only cut through it somehow. <sighs> oh, that's bad. Cut through it with. None of these things. Let's can we get out? There we go. Oh well, worth a try. So, you think we should push the crate, do you? Is the crate pushable? Let's put my gun away. Mm. Not pushable. Or punchable. Uh, and my car is blocking the street, so that's it. Well, if you've only got a limited amount of actions, then it's either punch everything or shoot it. Must have been. Th I mean. Why send you through here if there's no reason? God, yeah. Uh... Oh, you can't aim either. It's just fire straight ahead. Oh shit. Okay, so your gun's got limited supply that regenerates.
Right, well, this crate is the only thing of any use here, and you can't work with it. I can't jump. I, mean, when, I assume I'm using that already. So that's how I shoot upwards. I'm sorry about this, everybody. This is painful for everybody to watch. This is the only thing that we've interacted with that's done anything. Oh, oh well. It was a game while it lasted. Um. Who knows? Nutty Cluster might do some reading up and um, be able to learn us how to play it at some point. But for now, I think Roswell Conspiracies, Aliens, Myths and Legends has wasted enough of our time. Oh. Okay, we'll look at possibly one more and then... Um, Then we'll call it a night, shall we? Oh, excuse me. Mm. Oh, there's a whole bunch on here that we're going to do when we um, when we get racing. There's a bunch that we're going to do when we do puzzles. We've got some new Pac-Man. Okay, our last guy, our last game. Oh, well, maybe not. It always bothers me when it comes up with the crosshairs. I might need a light gun for this. Uh, our last game that we're going to attempt tonight is called Ghoul Panic. So let's see what happens.
hasn't made me think it's uh, any less of a shooter than I thought it might be. Oh, it would be nice if I could play it with the mouse. It's looking like I can. It might not let me do it though. Let's see, here we go. See, and the Nutty Cluster's still getting some ghosts, ain't she? So, short feel too let down. So, don't shoot the cat. Cat, promise that that won't happen. Nineteen ghosts, infinite bullets. Woo! A oh, little bit more difficult with a mouse than I anticipated. Oh, this would be good with a light gun. I've actually got a light gun with my Saturn. One day. I'd probably need a CRT TV to play it as well, it's disappointing. Do I have to do here? Oh, I might need to play that one again. Alright. Let's play again, shall we? Oh, can I not play it again? Rebel Scum.
Ah, miss that last one. Supposed to end, yeah. Uh, yes, chat room. This is a, a PlayStation game. Um, yeah, this is a PlayStation game. Sorry, yeah. I'm talking about me Saturn earlier on and having me gun, but this isn't on that. I'm disappointed. Might have to get a gun from the PlayStation. Oh, okay, die. Either that or I suppose I could mod my PlayStation to play these games. Um, I think that would be a good place to save the game. But you never know. Might play it later. And we will um, we'll turn that off. And we'll pop that rock up there because now it's the time of the show where we wipe the chat <laughs> from the screen and we go to the wheel. Ah, yes, I've moved the wheel, obviously, by the looks of it. So it's had some additions. Um, there are some new bits and pieces on there that you'll see we still got some more stuff to put on it and then we'll start repopulating it with things we've already done once we've cleared it um so let's have a spin shall we oh okay so we're having a i have never played and we're doing Metroid. I have never played. I've never played any Metroid. I've seen it. I've seen it played. But I've never actually played any. So we'll be looking at games within the Metroid universe. And we will be um, looking at games that um, many of you have already played. So, yeah. That'd be interesting. There'll be definitely lots of shouting at the screen there. So, anyway, that's it. Um, you can email us if you've got a a game you'd like us to play or a, a console you'd like me to have a look at. You can always email us retro at snugradio.co.uk. It's just there. Um, Sorry, the chat room's... Yeah, you can't backseat drive if you've never played it. Gee, I don't know. You've broken me flow now. Snugradio.co.uk is the website for all Snug Radio stuff. Um, we have a podcast on a Wednesday. We also Twitch here on a, a Tuesday and a Friday with 11s. Is. That's two hours of easy listening music um, to ease you into dinner. We haven't changed it yet. Uh, we're also on uh, YouTube which is where you may see this video if you've not watched it live. 
Uh, so that's um, youtube.com uh, slash snug radio because we're snug radio everywhere. If we're on the internet, snug radio. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, uh, in fact, anywhere that we need to be with Era Snug Radio. So um, it would be cool if you could give us a follow. And if you're on YouTube, do all the YouTubey things. And um, yeah, tell your friends. If you've got friends who are interested in retro gaming or would like to be interested in retro gaming, then um, I feel Snug Radio's Retro Lounge is an easy way into retro gaming. So I'm not a hardcore gamer just here to have some fun so um that's it for this show uh we'll be back next week at seven o'clock on twitch until then goodbye